That's good, Mark. He's doing over here. Well, we were at the final stage of releasing the second of two panthers that we rescued back in 2011. Back in May 2011, this panther along with his sister was born in, in Lee County, Florida. And then about five months later in September of 2011, mom died of unknown causes. But we were able to document that the kittens were still there where mom had died. So we set some live traps out and were successful at catching this cat and his sister and we took those cats up to White Oak Conservation Center up in North Florida, who have had tremendous success at raising such kittens for an eventual return back to the wild. In the early 80s, late 70s, we were down to about 30 panther. Uh, and today, a tremendous success story where we're up to 100 to 160 panther. So I have to compliment the, the panther team that does expert work to rehabilitate and to bring panthers back into the wild. The release of the male panther went really well. Kind of stuck his head out of the box and felt his surroundings and then just made a dash for several hundred yards down the road before peeling off into the willow. All of our research at FWC and management of panthers by FWC is supported uh, almost completely by the sale of those Florida panther license plates that you see out and about. And we really appreciate the public support of our research. <laughs>